Hey guys, it's me, the dude who talks, and welcome. So for today, I'm going to be talking about the new album from Wormlight, which is called Night Mother, and it's out now through Black Lion Records. Night Mother is their second album, following on from 2018's debut, Wrath of the Wilds. The band formed in 2014 in Yumea in Sweden. They were initially called Unhallowed, and they released two EPs under that name, until a year later they changed the name to Wormlight. So Wormlight are essentially a black metal band and features the members Tiamat Invitus on vocals and guitars, later Mortis on guitars, Lord Actus on bass and King Antichrist on drums. So with that out of the way, what did I think of Night Mother? Did I like it or will I be shining a light on the Night Mother? Let's find out. So for those interested in knowing, Night Mother consists of 9 songs and clocks in at 54 minutes. So I want to talk about 3 songs which will hopefully give you a good idea of what Night Mother is all about. The first song I want to talk about is the opening track which is also the titular track which is called, you know, Night Mother. So there's a bit of an intro with the riff which serves as the build up for when the vocals hit and with things like that I always try and guess when the vocals are going to come in and what they're going to sound like whether it's going to be like a deep growl or a high piercing shriek. So just before the minute marker shriek does actually come in and this is when the blast beats start and they come in hard. Though the vocals come in a bit later and they're kind of a bit like a deep growl but they do go up to a higher piercing shriek as well so I was right on both accounts. You also got the um, standard black metal riff and also towards the end you've got quite a decent solo and you know me, I love a good solo. And I think this leans towards the melodic side with that and also as the sound as a whole because it feels quite polished and it doesn't sound like it's been recorded under a duvet which for me is a plus. All right. The next song I want to talk about is called The Whispering Night and this song is a standout for me which comes out swinging out the gates with its fast pace plus the inclusion of this riff makes it even better. <laughs> For a song that lasts nearly six minutes, I felt that it never overstayed its welcome, even to the parts where it goes to its inevitable slowdown. I felt this song stayed with me the most on this album. So far, two really strong songs right off the bat. So we're at the half point of the album, and the next song I want to talk about is called Voidspawn. And it is simply another case of fast-paced heaviness. And if this song starts with a fade-in, you know it means business. I feel like the song was um, a race between the guitarist and the drummer to see who can play faster. Also see some more like deep growling from Tiamat in the um, vocal department. And also it even has room for this like nice chugging riff towards the end of the song. And for those reasons, this song is a standout for me on the album. So, speaking about the rest of the album, what did I think about it? Well, it isn't just all fast-paced. There's moments where it includes this, like, gloomy atmosphere, like in the beginning and end of Fate Weaver, which has this, like, gothic piano sound. However, these moments are quite short-lived. Also, the song Hounds of Apophrodes has that similar vibe as well. I kind of wish there was more of that on this album, just to break up the heavier songs just a little bit. So with its length and being quite long, I did feel like I needed to force myself to listen to it a bit harder as some of the songs in the latter half, which I've not really talked about, kind of just washed by for me and I just couldn't tell you any distinguishing features about them. I feel like it may just be a case of like too much meat or meat alternative, whatever your know, diet is. Or it might just be just a case of me having a short attention span. Though that isn't to say this is a bad album, there is some really good strong songwriting on this. I feel like they can write some really heavy songs. While in my opinion it could have benefited from more of a less is more approach, it definitely shows the band with a lot of potential to make their mark on the extreme metal scene.
That was me talking about Night Mother by Wormlight. Have you picked this album up yet? Please let me know what you thought about it down below in the comments section. Like always, if you've enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe. It really helps out. Just also want to quickly plug my Facebook and Instagram stuff again. So I'll be including links to them in the description section as well. If you want to give that a like and a follow, that would be greatly appreciated. So yeah, all I've got left to say to you guys is, I've been the Doo Doo Talks. You guys, as always, are fucking awesome. Thank you so much for listening. Cheers.